Hi guys! In today's video, I'm gonna make a scary doll makeup tutorials for Halloween. I'm not a professional, so if I could do it, you can do it. So let's get started! So we're going to start by uh, putting foundation on. So I took a white BB cream uh, that I put all over my face to look very white. As if I was sick. Because dolls always have a very white uh, skin tone. I want to look like a, a ghost. Ooh. So I apply it all over my face, even on my lips. Then I'm going to shape my brows a little bit, so I want them a little longer and thicker than they normally are. So I'm going to trace a thick and long line with um, just a, a brown eyeshadow. I really used simple tools to make these tutorials. I think everyone have um, all the tools I used. Then I'm going to take uh, my bronzer from uh, a Sephora palette. I really love this bronzer, it's just perfect. And I put it just under my cheekbone to crease my cheeks. A little bit on my forehead, on each side, and on my chin. Then for the eyes, I'm gonna use a slick makeup palette and I take the cream matte eyeshadow that I put all over my eyelid. I will use it as a base to unify the color of my lids. Then for the crease, I take the plum matte color and I just smudge it. Then I'm taking the matte pink color and I'm just blending it with the previous color. Then I take the brown matte eyeshadow and I'm going to trace the outer V and blend it a little bit with, uh, with my crease. but very slightly. Then I put a little bit of this brown color on my inner corner and then I just uh, join uh, the inner and outer corner together. Then with a fluffy brush I'm going to smudge everything so that it looks very smooth. Then I take a goldy pink color and I put it in the center of the lid to illuminate. And I blend the, uh, the two colors together with the brown so that we cannot see the demarcation. Then 
I take the cream matte eyeshadow again and I put it just under my eyebrows to clean it up a little bit. Then with a smaller brush, I'm going to put the pink into uh, all along my lower lash line. And then I'm going to blend with the brown color to make a very smoky look. Then I take my Urban Decay uh, brown liner and I put it into my waterline. And I couldn't do without adding false lashes. Dolls always have thick and long lashes so I really took the longest and thickest lashes I had. Then we're going to blush our cheeks, so I took a very hot Barbie pink to do it. And here, don't hesitate to exaggerate a little bit on the blush. Then I take my Coastal Sands lip palette and uh, with a brown color we're going to make some freckles on our cheeks. So I just took my lip pencil and then uh, do so, just do some freckles. It has to be symmetric so don't do too many freckles. For the lips, I'm taking a white jumbo pencil and uh, I'm going to hide the half uh, of my lips. Then in the center, we're going to trace with a brown color a kind of heart. A very small mouth looking like a Betty Boop. Poo poo pee doo! And then we're going to fill it with any deep red lipstick. have a heart-shaped mouth. Now I'm gonna take a very thin and small brush and the black matte eyeshadow to trace a line all along the mouth and uh, going up to the cheekbone. You can take an eyeliner or, or a curl to do this. Here the purpose is to try to make uh, some scars to the doll um, as if uh, 
her mouth had been sewn up. And now the makeup is complete. Now for the hair, I'm going to make two high ponytails. Because I really think it's the best hairdo uh, for this look. Don't hesitate to add some ribbons to your hair. It looks a lot more beautiful with ribbons. But unfortunately, I just couldn't find mine, so I was so disappointed. Then for the clothes, I decided to wear a little black buster dress with lace-up details. And for the shoes, I just worn my high black platforms. Now the tutorial is done, so I hope you enjoyed it and uh, see you in the next video. Bye!